Let's talk a bit about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Let's talk about this. I mean, do you expect them, Rene, to be in that position at the end of the season? I know it's a hard question. I know it's a slightly loaded question, but it's the obvious question right now. It wouldn't surprise me if they, if they would be there. I mean, it's not a surprise in, in many ways that they are there where they are now because, you know, he's been steadily working on the team. He's kept re uh, uh, reinforcing two things. You know, it's, uh, it's a long-term process. We are getting better, you know. Uh, there's there's a lot of progress to be made, and this is the evidence of it. Now it's the key, and then he says really well, you know. It's you know uh, we need to show character. There's there's more tests around the corner, but the biggest word he used there was hungry. You know, the players himself, of course, and the staff. We are hungry, and hungry gives a drive. That gives a, a motivation. It gives a a certain commitment and that is what what you want to be there and, and show it over the next big game it's, you know started with Liverpool on Sunday because that's going to be a real you know uh, interesting game because that game will make a statement you know uh, Liverpool win then everybody asks the questions can United do it because can they beat the big boys if it's a draw great you know people say fantastic man United way draw is good if United win then people say, well, is this the start of the end of Liverpool? And is this the start of the beginning of Manchester United coming back at the best? Can I ask, though, Rene, how much of this is down to Manchester United? Because when I look at last season and Liverpool were leaps and bounds ahead of everybody, you would say that the fact they won the Premier League is down to their own due diligence. The season before, it was just between City and Liverpool. And the season before that, uh, City walked the title at a canter. You wouldn't say it's because of the mistakes of others, because there was no competition. Whereas this year, everybody has slipped up on to some degree. You think of the Villa versus Liverpool game in the league, that is. You think of the Spurs game against Manchester United at Old Trafford. You think of Leicester against Manchester City. How much of this is down to Manchester United's quality and the management of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as opposed to the errors of other teams? And can that catch up to them? It, it, is, it, is, it, it is a valid point. And it's for everybody to see that this is not a normal season. And uh, but you have to, you can only do, you can only play what's in front of you. You can only pick up the three points when it's your turn to play any opposition. They've done that tonight. It gave them the opportunity to go top of the league. Fantastic. So that is credit to them. And, and that is fantastic. But there is, there is this, this, yeah, this situation of where other teams like Liverpool, like Manchester City, have not really fired in all cylinders. Manchester City is going to get a really good uh, string again, five or six games where you would expect them to win all the games, and they will be in the hunt. Uh, you asked me that before, and I think that's that would be a really interesting question for, for Ola, I think, is to say, whilst he's at the top now, but how many teams does he think that can still compete for winning the title? Because I don't think it's going to be two, a two-horse race. So I'm going to be speaking to him on Friday. Do you want me to ask that to him from you? That, yeah, that, yeah, that's really, because sometimes when you get on top of the league, you've got another really competitor, maybe somebody that is sort of luring in third place. But to, if I look at the league table now, there's still so many teams up there. Obviously, Liverpool there, Man City there, but Spurs is there, Everton is there, Leicester is there. You know, even Southampton can take points from, from top teams. Even, you know, Wolves, which I think are sort of middle of the table, but they are still a very strong, you know, team to reckon with when you play them. So I, I, I don't know how this league is going to pan out, but there's going to be some really interesting twists and turns, I think. Have they been deceptively good for you, Robbo? Because, again, that, that concept of others' errors... Uh, you are able to capitalise on it, but you still need to, to play your own games. You still need to win your matches, but they're not leaps and bounds ahead of anybody else. If we compare the table leaders now, Manchester United, to the previous winners of the Premier League, Liverpool and Manchester City, how do they stack up in terms of strength and ability? Are, are they on course to, to emulate those signs? Do you feel maybe not this season, but next season? I don't see why not this season. I think they've got to take a lot of credit, and especially the manager's got to take a lot of credit. Um, I, like many others, questioned his appointment in the beginning. Um, Manchester United, the board, they've stuck with him. They've backed him in the transfer window, and that they've given him time, and it's now seemingly come into fruition. Let's not forget, where they're now sitting top of the Premier League, and this is a season where <clears throat> he was twice, if you believe reports, close to the sack. 
before they went to Paris and, and putting a fantastic performance and won in Paris. If they hadn't have won there, you'd reported to get in the sack. And then they went to Goodison Park and turned in a fantastic performance and beat Everton. And reports were if they hadn't have won that day, he was going to get the sack. Yet now you see the Manchester United team who all of a sudden in the last six to eight weeks have developed into a team who are top of the type, top of the top of the league. They've got a fully fit, fully firing squad, and they look a, a match for anybody. Um, you can see the manager, you can see how buoyant that he is, and you can see how much he's looking forward to the game against Liverpool at the weekend. I mean, it's going to be an absolutely fantastic game. Manchester United back at the top of the Premier League after such a long time, all of a sudden now they're, they're, they're on Liverpool's patch again. 